you see my family? You see my team? So listen, you guys can manufacture your life right now. All of you, you're in here to build a new fucking life. Am I right? Yeah. Listen, I know it's going to be scary. If it scares you, it's worth it. You know what? You know what it's about time to do? About time to start doing some shit that scares the fuck out of you. And I mean scare the living shit out of you. And you're going to learn you fucking run to what scares you and you confront it and you face it and you dance with it. A very, very crucial role within the real estate industry. Because there's a ton of people out there that like to flip homes or buy rental properties. Well, what we do is we go find those and then we, we assign our contracts to them. Who in here would love a rental property next week? Bam, a ton of hands went up. All I'd have to do is say, hey, I need all of your names, numbers, and email addresses. I'm gonna put you on my VIP buyers list. I'm gonna go find you the homes. Just sit back, I gotcha. And I'm gonna go market the shit out of whatever neighborhoods you need. There's people that only flip one, two, three million dollar homes. Yep. And there is a market for that. Hit Matt Matthew, his first deal, right? Yeah. He's ever done? Yeah. $360,000? Just under that. His first deal ever was just under $360,000. You almost want to pick a lane, stay in it, master it, and that's what we did, you know? Hustle Summit 2! It's right around the corner, y'all. What I want to do is get you in the room. Last time, Hustle Summit, the very first one, it was standing room only. We packed the house in less than 30 days. What I want you to do is don't take my word for it. Don't take my advice. Listen to what the people that actually showed up. Information has been on point that you can go home and actually start doing right now. We're part of Eric's coaching program, but his specific form of sales, he speaks well in teaching us what to do on these calls. The energy is super vibrant, obviously. Eric's bringing up all the heat here. To get my frequency up, man, this has been the perfect place. High energy levels, man, and so it's it's going great so far. The energy is infectious. The people, everybody's here is ready to get after it. Everybody here is wanting to make a change in their life or their business. You're walking into a different reality. I know that he has a track record of doing this business at a high level. So salespeople respect high-level salespeople. Hustle Summit Live. Make sure you're at the next one. And for those of you that are wondering, is this for me? Yes, this is for you. Whether you're just thinking about getting started in the wholesale industry, you're working that nine to five, you're in the rat race wondering, how do I get out of this? You may be a wholesaler that just can't get consistent results or you're thinking about building a team and you don't know where to go from here. Or all you realtors out there wondering, can I get out of the traditional real estate and go into the wholesaling where I hear about these big, fat, juicy spreads that my commissions possibly couldn't equate to? If that is for you, you're qualified to put your ass in the room. And for everybody that's wondering, where is Hustle Summit 2 going to be? It's in Scottsdale, Arizona, y'all, at the Lion's Den, Andy Elliott's office. I'm telling you, this is the place that you want to be. I'm going to show you how to consistently make between twenty dollars to $100,000 a year, like clockwork, so you can finally get paid what you're worth. Scottsdale, Arizona. The lion's den. I'm going to show you how to build a seven figure business within 12 months. Do you believe you can do that? Yeah! Right? Dude, you're talking to a guy in the first 12 months, $2.6 million. And I netted 58%. That's $1.5 million. In my first 12 months, I didn't know anything about real estate. Still today, I don't know a whole lot about real estate, but my partners do, right? It's sales and marketing. That's all that this is, is sales and marketing, and we flip paper. I'm gonna show you how to literally, with never buying a house, you can make over a million dollars without ever buying a single house. Who wants to learn how to do that? Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna give you some hacks that's gonna show you how to use what Eric's gonna teach you, okay? So there's a thing called an environment. 
okay? And the environment in which you're in is how you grow. Determines how, did I spell it wrong? I knew I fucked it up. <laughs> hey, which shows you, you can become a, 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 a hundred, whatever it is, I, we earn a hundred million a year, which shows you you can earn as much as you want when you don't know how to fucking spell. <laughs> hey, let me tell you something. I didn't do very good in school, right? Who in here didn't do very good in school? It's cool. If you did good in school, I'm proud of you. If you didn't do it in school, I'm going to ask you a question. Is it because you weren't interested? Just, just think about this for a minute, right? Like, dude, in kindergarten, I, was, I got held back in kindergarten, right? Hey, I'm not telling you to be messed up like me, but tell me you don't have fucking scars. Tell me that you haven't been looked at at some point in your life and people say you don't fit in. Dude, the people you look up to don't fucking fit in. You think the winners, did Kobe Bryant fit in? Fuck no. No, did Michael Jordan fit in? No. Dude, when they were doing their shit, no one else wanted to be. When they cut their family off because they didn't believe in them, you think people talk shit on them? Yes. Dude, listen, if you want to fit in, just fit in and be average. A lot of you are trying to fit in right now. The goal is to not fit in. The goal is to stand out. The goal is to be different. The goal is to make relationships that others can't. That's your fucking goal. Your goal is this. See this? This, this, I'm going to draw a stick figure. See this? This is you. Somebody tell me when everyone else, 8 billion people in the world, want to make millions and millions and millions of dollars, Tell me why you. Because you believe. And they fucking don't. They talk shit and they don't do the work. They don't understand the misspelled environment, the environment. You see my family? You see my team? See, I, see, see, listen. You guys can manufacture your life right now. All of you. You're in here to build a new fucking life. Am I right? Yeah. Listen, I know it's going to be scary. If it scares you, it's worth it. You know what? You know what it's about time to do. About time to start doing some shit that scares the fuck out of you. I, and I mean, scare the living shit out of you. And you're gonna learn, dude. When you're young and there was like a boogeyman, right? You want to run from it. No, dude. You you run to it. You run to it. You fucking run to what scares you, and you confront it, and you face it, and you dance with it. When you run from it, it gets scarier. When you run from it, you get taken out. And for anybody in here that can't understand my analogies, my life's a fucking story. Your life's a story. Up to this point, you wrote a story about your life right now. If you died today and we let people read your story, what would they say? Dude, when I was young, I used to tell stories. You used to tell stories when they, were, when they were young. You used to tell stories that were way bigger than they were. Okay? I used to get in trouble by telling fucking stories. My dad was like, that's not the truth. That's not what fucking happened. That fish, it was a fucking perch. You didn't catch a 48-pound catfish. And I was like, in my fucking head, that bitch was a catfish. And it was huge, and it had big teeth. And I fucking ripped its face off trying to get it out of the water. And I was wrestling it. He's like, dude, you caught it with a little plastic worm. You had to hook this. I'm like, dude, that's not what happened. See, my dad's vision was that was what happened. But let me tell you what really happened. And I got in trouble by telling these stories. And isn't it crazy? A vast majority of my wealth, fucking millions and millions and millions of dollars have come from the ability to tell a story. You want to freaking get rich? Learn how to influence. Learn how to persuade. Learn how to paint pictures. Learn how to tell stories. Learn how to sell ideas. Learn how to sell situations. You can fucking do that. You can beat these 8 billion people. I am honored today that I'm standing on this stage. I do not take this lightly. I do not take this lightly that his entire team has put my name on their chest. Because I know the way they all feel about the man that has ultimately changed their lives. I know, yes, give it a fucking round of applause. And I, I, want, to, I want to explain something because I was in, I, me and my son literally were in those two seats. And I was trying to figure out whether or not this man was real, right? I knew he wore tight shorts and I knew he wore tight shirts. <laughs> and I knew occasionally he would make people take their shirt off on stage. Yeah. I'm like, all right, I get that, but I want to go to him and I want to see if behind the scenes is real. For anybody in here that's never been to this place, this fucking compound here, the team that's here, dude, they, they have set the motherfucking tone yep. for this industry. And I tell you, I don't know if anyone's going to be able to catch them. And, I, and, I, and I, I mean that from the bottom of my heart. I, I, and, 
And by the way, guys, we've never, ever had anybody speaking on our stage um, here with anybody. So we believe in Eric. We believe in the fire that he's had. So this is the first time. And we've had hundreds and hundreds of coaches and people. There's a lot of fake-ass fucking gurus out there. Yep. There's a lot of people that are saying shit. They ain't doing the shit. Yep. You're getting information from them. And it's actually totally destructive to a person when somebody's giving them some information that they're not living by. So for the Elliott Group, we take our core values super seriously. We take what we tell people truly seriously. And what we saw in Eric was the same thing that we had. That our intentions were to change the people. Our intentions are to make the impact of the people. And that's what he has at a level that you just don't find in anybody. You just don't find a guy that's doing what he's doing that wants to pour back how he's doing it. So we appreciate you. This is new for us, and we chose, We feel like we chose the absolute best person to do this. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I just want to tell you, you're the true one percenters. You made it till the end of the video. Do me a favor, share it with a friend that wants to go to another level. Make sure you like the video, comment below so I know who you are. Set your notifications and then subscribe to the channel. We got daily sales training videos dropping. I'll see you soon.